Hey YouTube, Manster here with a quick tutorial on how to make your mouse speed slower when you press and hold a certain hotkey. In this case, it's control. So, the first thing you need to do is go to www.autohotkey.com. I'll have a link down in the description. Um, this program is an awesome program in which you can create scripts to do almost whatever you want and are triggered by a certain hotkey when it is pressed or released or held or whatever. So simply click download and then save and install it. Um, I've already done so so I'm not going to do it again. Once you've done that then download this file from a link I have also in the description and simply run it. Now the script that I have created um, changes your mouse speed to 1 or 3 I forgot when you press and hold control. Um, to change that you will have to go to the script right click and say edit with notepad plus plus or whatever other editor you would you prefer and then to change the speed of the mouse, yeah it's 3, to change the speed of the mouse when you um, hold down control uh, you change this figure right here um, you can change it from 1 to 20 with 20 being the fastest and 1 being the slowest, I'm going to change it to 1 and if you want to change the um, hotkey pressed to do to change the mouse speed go to search or oh, I'm not sure what it is um, for if you use notepad or whatever but yeah replace all the controls which is what I have here C T R L with whatever hotkey you want so um, the hash is the Windows key Alt will be the Alt key and so on and so forth. Um, help, you can use the help for our auto hotkey to find all the um, hotkeys out if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave it as control. Um, then save and then run it. Okay, so as you can see when I press and hold down control, it goes slow then when I release it goes back to the original speed. Now, um, of course that would be a problem if you needed control for some other programs like you know copying something with control C and then pasting it with control V and so forth. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into your task manager to stop it you're going to have to click on the process right click and end task. I haven't found any other way to stop it um, so that's what you're going to have to do. So you're just going to have to run it uh, when, you're pl when you want to use it and then go into the task manager when you want to end the process. Thanks for watching.